What's up everyone, my name is Miles at Miles of Color everywhere online and I'm so excited to introduce you to the new series on this channel called Behind, what's it called? Behind the, what did I call it? Behind the edit, the behind the edit series. I really, I messed up already, it's two minutes in the video. Okay, all, all jokes and messiness aside, I'm super excited to show you guys how I edit basically. It's gonna be more of a walkthrough than it is me live editing because to be honest, I kind of just improvise ideas and concepts. Um, this is the original photo that I took of my friend Jesse Reed, and here is the after, the composite, the fine art piece, the whatever you want to call it, piece of crap, don't be mean to me. This is my art. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm doing my best, all right? So the concept here is I basically saw Jesse looking like he could either be falling or he could be being lifted up, and I decided to have a more literally uplifting post and you know tie some some strings around him and have some doves lift him off into the heavens and it's just it's a thing that's the concept i wanted to go with but unfortunately during the uh, original shoot i didn't have any doves to tie to him so here we are before we get started please make sure to follow me on instagram at miles of color as well as jesse at jesse shepherd and subscribe to this channel because Ooh, we're gonna be doing some great stuff. We're gonna have a podcast. We're gonna be doing more of these editing videos, a lot of other stuff. I'm super excited about it. And also, hit me up on Twitter. I'm there to talk, hang out, send me dank memes, whatever. I just wanna connect with you guys more. And without further ado, let's hop onto my computer where we're going to do a walkthrough of this edit. Hello everyone, welcome to the walkthrough portion of this video. Okay, so this is the photo that we're going to be diving into. Like I said earlier, this is my friend Jesse, and this is the photo on my Instagram. Make sure to go and hit him up on Instagram too. Send him a follow, maybe a little like on some of his photos here, and just, uh, yeah, appreciate him. Appreciate male models, because there's not enough of them around. And then also, guys, I used a lot of photos from this well, not a lot, but I use like three photos from this website called Unsplash. It is free, it's not a sponsor. Um, I'm not even signed up with it and you can just download images super easy and use them for composites or whatever. And that's basically what I do. I do composite images. Um, you'll kind of see what that means pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, let's just hop into Photoshop. So I want you guys to understand first, I'm not gonna be doing some live edit, okay? This is not gonna be some crazy thing where I'm gonna be editing while I'm talking and no, I'm not that coordinated yet. When I shoot a photo, sometimes the edit is just totally not exactly what I planned. Like it's totally on the other side of the spectrum. Like I didn't know what I was gonna do with this photo, honestly. I thought maybe I would put, you know, some stars behind him or something like that, but I didn't think I was gonna go so Ham. <laughs> so, uh, let's hop in here. I'll show you the photos that I have. I don't know, what the heck? Why did my Photoshop get messed up like this? Okay, so you guys have already seen the photo that we're talking about, and it took a few pieces to get to that photo. So I'm going to uh, just like get rid of all these layers here, and we're starting here. We're starting with just plain grass. And I wanted to have some kind of just like, just some layer on the, the bottom of this photo where we could see that Jesse is being elevated in some kind of way. Um, so I needed some kind of surface to create distance and create a dimension. And here's the original photo of Jesse. It's just him jumping um, it's a pretty cool photo. I'm not gonna lie like I, I like it a lot like by itself unedited But I knew I wanted to have some fun with it uh, Especially right here On his arm. It looks like he's kind of being like taken from like this this angle here His hair is falling to the side a little bit and it just looks like he could either be taking off or falling down and I decided to have a very uplifting photo like I said and uh, make him fly away. Here are the birds that I used, these two doves. Um, I couldn't just have one, I had to have two. And then here is the grass patch, which I already kind of showed you. And here is the sunset slash night sky that I chose to have in the image. So to bring this into my project, I guess is what you call it. I press W here. That is the quick selection or yeah, quick selection tool. And I just drag across here because what the quick selection does is it selects something quickly. And so you click on what you either do or don't want selected. So I selected the sky. 
I don't want the sky in here, I just want the grass. The sky is beautiful, but we don't need it in this photo. You're gonna go down here and click this add mask button, and boom, the sky is not there. Uh oh, or the sky is there, our grass isn't there. Well, I'm gonna click uh, Command I which inverted that layer mask and boom here we are so that's our base layer all right so that's where i started with this base layer i have some jagged edges here just on purpose just to make it look not so perfect um and then the next step here is adding in a sky which um basically the two base layers basically base layers it sounds funny um is is a surface and then the sky and i was gonna go with this one originally but it just was it was actually too much um it was a very heavenly kind of like you know overpowering sky and it was beautiful but it wasn't the vibe so instead i went with this one a bit more subtle but it's not too subtle it's it's really there and i just felt like it was going to be the right backdrop in the end okay so here is jesse obviously i did that whole quick selection thing i'm not going to do it in this video but i i did it to cut him out and to bring him in here um which was really rough around here you can see i had to actually like go in and paint and make sure that we had you know not the original photo there and make sure we could see our composite sky through his hair which took quite a long time i also added some motion blur to jesse here which um, i think kind of you know added some drama to the photo um i had two files or one file of him originally and then i made another one just because i wanted to be able to blur one and keep the other one there so here is the original no that's the blur that's the blur file and you can just see like his hand like how it it just like looks like obviously he's in movement and i think that was super necessary for this next part here considering we have birds hella birds hella doves actually uh, beautiful bird seven out of ten for sure and so i also did that um motion blurring to these doves here except in the version i posted i didn't have the blur because i didn't really like it on my phone but i liked it better on the computer and i'm just gonna show you guys like so i i have like one type right here and i have it copied over here copied over here and copied over here and then i have this other one that is copied here here and here however you can't necessarily like just by looking at the photo you can't see that because they're facing different directions and stuff they're not the exactly identical but i only use two copies of the birds here and like I said, I added some motion blur, some Gaussian blur to these ones that are closer to the camera because it should be blurred because that's how cameras work. And I added motion blur to the wings just because they're freaking flying. So you should have your, your wings moving. Was this ASMR? I don't know anymore. And so I'm going to mute those birds and then bring them back. That's 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 what it looks like with the birds in there. Um, something that I do want to point out Something I didn't include in the original at first was these birds in the front here. And they added so much depth and dimension. Like adding foreground blur to your photos is very handy. I really recommend doing it. And that's coming from someone who's terrible at doing it. But when you do it, it makes sense. Like look at that. Like it just takes away from Jesse being carried away, which is like honestly not a bad thing because the photo is so centered, there's so little distractions that you need a little bit of a distraction just to add some, some drama and depth to the photo. And then boom, we have our strings here. I admit, I didn't do a good job with these strings. I knew people were going to be looking at this photo on their phones, so I straight up just took a pen tool, and I'll show you guys a little example if you don't know how to use a pen tool. Uh, create a new layer here, and I just like clicked here, clicked here, drug down a little bit, and I was like we're good obviously not like that oh no how did this happen how did this happen to me boom there we go i think i had a stroke of like two or something like that and basically just i created some i created some loops around his hands and whatnot to look like there was kind of rope being tied around or string being tied around him so he was being elevated i guess so that is this whole layer right here i combined the birds the strings and jesse being flown away right here the next step is dodging and burning for me and for me i didn't need to necessarily dodge the whole image i think there's a lot of highlights going on already which that's what dodging is dodging is enhancing highlights and burning is getting rid not getting rid of but it's it's enhancing shadows and i just wanted to burn kind of the corners down here and then this cloud and i wanted to burn the 
the corners to bring attention to Jesse. So it would kind of lead up like some leading lines to Jesse. And then I want to burn the clouds right here to bring some, some uh, needed attention to these birds because very bright bird, very bright background, didn't work out so well. And then boom, here we are. Just very subtle adjustments, but it just adds. It just adds. And last but not least, guys, I have this exposure and coloring layer, and I, I throw in a few things here. I have selective coloring, a hue saturation, vibrance layer. I didn't use it in this one. Um, exposure, which I sometimes use, and color balance and color lookup. And I'm going to <laughs> going, going, going. <laughs> I'm going to click the little eye icon here to reveal the coloring of this photo, and boom. There it is. So I went with more of like a red hue here. I like to go like with the orange and teal kind of vibe, but I went a little different and went blue and red instead of orange and teal. And I think it added some like some drama to this photo. And honestly, I, I love this edit. Like I'm super proud of it. You guys seem to love it too. Like let's go look at the Instagram comments. Like it like it popped off. Like you guys like really, really liked it. And it made me feel good that you guys were more receptive to it. Um, you can tell on this photo here, the one I posted, I added some grain to it in Lightroom Mobile, which I will cover my Lightroom Mobile process eventually. But like I said, I, I love this image. Like, I'm super proud of it. I'm super proud of, like, the last, the last, like, nine photos I posted, last nine to 12 photos that I posted. And the plan is just to basically go through and kind of show you how I edited each one and hopefully, you know, teach you guys a little something or maybe you can teach me something. All right, guys, so that was it. That's how I edited a photo. That was the first episode of behind the edit i'm super excited about it i hope that you guys liked it let me know if you have any questions or if i can explain things a little better or just whatever give me some feedback that's going to help develop the show into something that could be really useful for you know new photographers or people who are just looking to get into compositing and photoshop stuff or people who just want to watch and want to be entertained that is basically it i'm miles at miles of color everywhere online thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye